Hey guys, so I'm back after an eight month break and yeah, I'm ready to make videos again, hopefully. So this is just a test, get me back in the swing of things, how it used to be, hopefully better than ever. And I'm going to do a world tour of my personal survival world. So this world is quite old at this point. I think it's, it's going on 2000 days and one and a half years near enough so yeah I'm thinking about making it into a series with videos now and again of me just doing stuff around it don't know how frequent they'll be but I'll try my best so yeah this one's gonna be episode one it's gonna be the world tour I'll show you everything around and yeah hopefully you like it and you want a series out of it right editor thing here I just wanted to clear up a few things before I carry on with the tour. Number one, this is a Bedrock world. So I play mainly on Bedrock Edition because it's more accessible to me and I can run it smoother. Number two, this is going to be a very chill and relaxing series. It's not going to be hyper and loads of cuts, loads of music and time lapses and all that. It's just a relaxing series of me playing in my world. Right, anyway, enough talking. Back to the video. Enjoy. So, I'm going to start off here. This is where I live. This is my house. This area is like Viking themed. As you can hopefully tell. So, this is my house. This is Derek the door cat. And, um, go in here. I need to redo all this. So, one thing you should know is this world is a massive work in progress. There is so much stuff that is unfinished. But, because I like to move around projects so quickly, I'll think of an idea, I'll go build it, and then I just won't finish it. But I'm going to try and get better at that. So, um, this house didn't used to be with these blocks or the moss roof or anything. It used to be out of jungle and stuff. But I've been changing stuff around here recently, and I haven't got to the interior yet. And then we get to my storage room, which I also want to redo at some point. Um, yeah, it, it does me well. I'm running out of some space, like for example the stone, I've got a bit of that, <laughs> and um, I've got even like dirt and grass overflow here, i got a bit of a fish tank, one other portal, and a possible expansion down there. My bedroom is up there, which is on this little overhang thing here, and that's basically the house. Um, next thing is this big building, this is also unfinished, it's very untextured, and um, yeah, I need to come back to this at some point, but it's meant to be like a Viking longhouse. This is where I currently... The inside is a mess, by the way. But the inside is where I have some of my villages at the minute, and then over there, behind that dirt wall, is where I just breathe them up. And then there's some more up that ladder as well on the top floor. But yeah, these are some good ones. We've got, like, Efficiency 5, Protection 4, and all these up. Yeah, I don't come here that often, and I need to redo this. This isn't going to be my trading hall forever. I'm just going to actually decorate this to be like a big feastful and um, move the villagers somewhere else. But yeah, that's that. Uh, I got this tree, which I'm not sure I like, as I think I think it's a bit chunky, but I might come back to that in the future. And then up here we have my blacksmith. This is where my super smelter is actually. It's underground, and you put the input in here, the fuel in here, you flick the lever, they get sent off. And then the output comes up this bubble column and into this barrel. And it's pretty quick. So, yeah, I like this build. It's helped me out a lot. I love this um, outside area as well. This is nice. Over here, we have... This is meant to be like a sort of town hall sort of thing. But... I'm not really completely sold on it. I don't like the front bit at all. I'm probably going to change this at some point. But yeah, the interior is also a bit of a work in progress. So there's like little seating areas and stuff and nice chill place. And then there's meant to be an office in here, which I didn't finish. I'll come back to that at some point, as of everything in this world. Now if we go out here. Um, We have just some random buildings, which definitely have interiors. And again, I'll do them at some point. Yeah, there's four buildings here which um, don't have interior, but 
yeah, they're just there for decoration, basically, and to fill in a gap. Now, here we have my tavern. This is a uh, boar brews, and I love the interior on this, how it turned out. So, it actually has a little wine cellar as well, where I actually keep all my potions. So, I've got them nicely organised into these barrels, and then there's a little brewing setup down there with a book that tells me what each ingredient does which is very helpful when I need to make potions so now if we go back upstairs we can actually look at the top floor which is very convenient right now seeing as it's going dark outside so there's just three rooms up here where you can stay and sleep the night like a tavern which I've used many times when I'm not close to a bed now we come back down here, that's basically the tavern done. We also have a little dock down here which is pretty old. Um, I'm going to redo the dock system around here at some point. Build like a boathouse sort of thing here where you can s store the boats out for the lake. It's got a water wheel on the side, I don't know why but it looked cool. And I like it, so I'm keeping it. And then up here this is a relatively new build actually. This is my wool farm. So we got all 16 colours of wool around here. And then they go down into the basement, which is inside this building. Well, the entrance is to here. Well, the entrance is here. So you come down here, and this is where all my wool gets sorted. As you can see, it's relatively new, so there's not much in each. Yeah, I really like how this turned out. It's all colourful and I love the, uh, the floor as well and the moss on the ceiling. Yeah, I like how this turned out. Now this is also a new building. I'm still working on this area as you can probably tell. But th yeah, there's no interior in there. I'll probably make like a shepherd's house or something. And then there's another house in the side of the hill here which does actually have an interior surprisingly. Yeah, it's, not, it's very cramped and tiny but it's still there <laughs> um i'm gonna put like a crop field or something here maybe there as well build a tree or something that's all still like in planning though so that is basically my home area um there's stuff all around here i'm gonna go to my industrial area now this is where i have a lot of my automatic farms or even just any farms and you can see it come into view here so this is kind of like a industrial with slightly steampunk style you can see we've got some like copper gears and stuff around the place and pipes and all that so it's slightly uh, cyberpunk but it's mainly industrial so this is the main building this is like a uh, train sort of I don't know what you call it it's like a the building where you store the trains and stuff I need to extend this out and put some like buffers on the end, I don't know what's the technical name. We've got a uh, generator in here for all the power and just general storage. We've got pumpkins and melons, you'll see why in a minute. And then that goes into a, a tunnel which goes off into the abyss. Um, the upstairs of this actually has something in it. So this is where my bone mill farm is. It's just a zero tick kelp farm. And that building is empty for now. And down in this little alley, this is where my melon and pumpkin farm stores to. The actual farm is inside this bit. But this building's still a work in progress, as you can see. But yeah, this is a chunk I mined out. And this is like a research thing. And that's where the melon and pumpkin farm is, through that wall. Yeah, I don't want to fall down here. Yeah, that took a long time. Then in this building down here, this is where my honey farm is. My honeycomb. <laughs> Got a little bit of that. Yeah, they work hard. Interior's not done in here. And then around here, in this building on the left, is where my flower farm is actually. So yeah, there's no interior for this as well, but that's that. And all the output comes out in these. Again, no interior. <laughs> and that's basically an industrial place. 
So this is just next to my industrial area. This is my sort of horse ranch slash farming district. I don't really know what area it is yet. I'm just kind of working out as I go along. So this is kind of like a little horse hay storage and other things building. It's got hay in here. You've got like a little thing with a saddle and you can imagine it does stuff. And then upstairs we just got some more storage for like crates and then there's like a winch thing that can pull stuff up here and store it for the horses. And then we go back down. This other building is still being constructed. I haven't finished this yet, but this is going to be the actual stable where you can keep the horses. And then there's going to be loads of crop fields and flower fields around here. I'm thinking about maybe doing like a horse race track or something, but I'm still working that one out. And then there's also a big aquarium thing here, because there used to be a zoo here, well, a small zoo, but I didn't like it, so I got rid of it and put this here instead. But yeah, I kept this here because it was too much work to just get rid of, and I do like it, so I'm keeping it. And I also want to build a enclosure sort of thing for the sniffers, which I have which I don't actually know where they are at the minute. Actually, I think they're in that little fenced off area over there. But you can't see them because we're too far away. Now, if we come across to this island in the middle of the lake, this is a lighthouse I made with a little tiki bar. And it's also got a little fish market stall around here where they sell fish, which is quite cool. Yeah, this is just a solitary lighthouse on an island. It wouldn't really have much use, seeing as there's no boats and it's not really like on the coast of the sea to guide boats in. But, you know, we use our imagination and it's here because it is here. Right, now down this path, which is just behind where my house is, this is a relatively new project that I'm working on. Well, actually, like literally yesterday I was working on this. So... I don't know exactly what this is going to be yet, but it's kind of some dystopian city with like an apocalypse and there's this government. I don't know yet. If you've got any ideas, let me know. But I've designed a, well, the front of a building, which is going to go on this hill. I'll try and throw up a picture. Actually, no, I might not because this might be a video, me building this, and I'll like to keep that a surprise. But yeah, it's some like research facility that got taken over by rebels and stuff in like a revolution and there's all this propaganda and stuff. So yeah, hopefully this is going to be like all city and all run down with like, yeah, it's kind of dystopian, futuristic, apocalyptic. I don't even know myself, but I'm winging it as I go. But yeah, this is a massive work in progress, still being built, but it's a massive building. And then there's also this like, little war bunker, which doesn't have an interior currently, but yeah, that's underneath the facility. But yeah, I'm really into this at the minute, so this is probably what I'll be working on soonest. And then you can kind of see it poking out over the trees over here. This is probably my the largest area of a total build in this world. And this is my island city. So this I started this a long time ago, and then I stopped working on it because I just got demotivated with it. But it's still here, and I'm going to have to come back to it at some point to finish it. But I like how Main Street turned out. So this is like my medieval city. We got some shops down the side, and there's a library here. There's a little pub down there, which closed down due to inflation, because the other pub opened open in my um, home area. We've got this big clock tower. There's a cinema there, which does have an actual cinema in the basement. I won't go there, because it's very dark, and there's loads of mobs in there, and I'm scared it'll blow it up. Now, this is a castle that I was working on, which, as you can see, I didn't finish, because I planned things out with Netherrack. But yeah, I never came back here. There's a little church back there, and that's pretty much all that's on this island. I wish this actually turned out something good. I might come back one day, when I get the inspiration, but for now it's very abandoned. So I need to find a bed pretty quickly actually, because it's becoming night time. 
Oh, and there's this custom cherry tree, which I actually love. This is when it was first added. I just wanted to build something with it. So I built this. I think I could probably do it better now, because I've improved a lot since this and this whole area, to be fair. But yeah, I do quite like it. I think there's a bed in here, yes. And then when you come down here, you can see in the mountain there, there's my old skin head. Uh, I haven't updated that to my new skin yet, but I might do. Or I might just leave it. I don't know. But yeah, that's the cinema. That's also unfinished. There was meant to be some banners up there. And the interior isn't done, so I'm not going to show you in there, because it's not done. And then we got some paintings on the side to act like movie posters or something, and then the main one on the front. I do quite like how this turned out. It's a bit different with like the very boxiness and then that tower. Yeah. This is the old pub that closed down because the one over there opened and everyone went there instead. That's the law behind it anyway. And Endermen are taking my blocks again. Of course they are. That's annoying. You know what? There. We'd never even know. So that's pretty much this island, I think, unless I'm forgetting something, which hopefully I'm not. Yeah, I'll probably come back here one day. So that's basically everything I've built in this area. There's some other stuff. Oh, there's another Enderman. There's... Oh, he's placed over here. So annoying. Right, I'm getting off topic. Um, That's this area, basically, done. However, that isn't everything I've built. Now... I'll probably show you other stuff in another video. I have like some Italian villa area with like a vineyard and stuff in a savannah somewhere. And I got my XP farm which is very ugly. It's a, like a pigman farm and they drop and they get killed by a trident killer. That's off that way. You have to go through the nether because it's quicker. Um, I've got a little fishing village which is really unfinished. There's one building over there. And then a small viking, like a snowy or viking area, just over that hill there, which I won't go to because it's also very unfinished. But that's pretty much this area. If you want to see this turn into a series, and I actually build stuff in a, in a video, and commentate, hopefully. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit better at it now than I used to be, eight months ago. Let me know what you think. And hopefully I sound a little bit better as well. I bought a microphone. But yeah, if you want to see this turn into a little survival series where I build stuff and chat with you guys, then let me know, because I'll be more than happy to do that. And it might even keep me inspired to actually finish projects, unlike most of the stuff in this world. So yeah, leave a like if you liked, <laughs> leave a dislike if you didn't, I guess. Subscribe so you don't miss anything, and I'll see you in the next one.